I watched her. She came in. I watched her come in and she went straight to the escalator. She was 19. A girl? A woman? No, a girl. And she was wearing a blue jacket. She was 19, 20, 21. About that. Blue jacket and white jeans. And white trainers. White trainers, they were dirty. They were scuffed. She went to the escalator and she looked to me like she knew what she was there for. I think she knew. She knew what it was she wanted. And she knew where it was. And her hair was up. She tied it up like a lot of them. You see a lot of them wearing it like it now. The girls, young ones, they tie it up, tie it back. They weren't where they were before. Everything was moved around again. It's always happening in these big stores. I don't know why they do it. It's annoying. Is it because there's nothing else to do and they have to find the assistant something to do? I found them, eventually. They shifted them to a corner and all the reds had gone. There were only greens left. Three left in green. I couldn't believe it. Two days ago, Wednesday, they had like six or seven reds. And now they're all gone. That's what I went in for. That dress. Just to look at it again. I tried it on, the red. And it had these thin, thin shoulder straps. And it looked beautiful. I thought it looked beautiful on me. The green was a dark green. Bottle green. Greens are a color I wear much. I always thought it made me look pale. My skin. It was the shape of the dress I really liked. The length of it. I kept looking at it, trying to imagine it on me. And I thought I might as well try it on. There are two of them in size 10, which is my size. I still had half an hour before I started back in my work. It might have been a face. It could have been something about a face. And the way she came in and went straight to the escalator without being interested in anything else. That could have been it. Most of them, when they come in, they plan the whole thing ahead. You can usually tell with people. You just know. Because you learn. Tell these things over time. What was it? Cherry? About me? I know your name. You told me your name. Tell me, Cherry. What was it? It can be anything. What? It. My face? Was it my face? <laughs> was no. it written all over it's... my face? I got a sense. Maybe it was. Maybe it was your face when I saw it. Yes. The way you were. The way you were acting. It can be a very simple thing. It needs to only be a small thing. Where were you? Where was I? Uh, on the ground floor. When I came in? That was my floor. Your I, floor? The floor I was covering. My floor. We're each responsible for a floor. We get allocated a floor. I was standing at the door. So no, I was... And you saw me? I was watching you. I was further in. And I saw you. I was talking to one of the women that works there on yes, the ground. Yes, my face. Or something about you. That you thought her. Yes. I looked at myself in the mirror for ages in that size 10. It showed off a lot of me. I could see my shoulders bare. I didn't mind the color of it. The green, now. I kind of liked it on me. I didn't think I would. But I did. 
there were other mirrors so you could see it from the back and even from the back it looked good I-, i was thinking where i'd wear it where out i'd wear it and how many times you wouldn't see it in the pub it was for a party or a or a special occasion it was a it was a dress people remember they'd look at me in it and maybe they would i don't know they'd think things about me they'd think i was such and such a person but that's all right just for a night i told myself buy it just buy it you deserve it i had the money 50 quid but i'd have nothing left for the weekend i didn't get paid for another two weeks i thought i'd leave it just for now i might see something somewhere else and i could always come back for it i'm in the town every day the center of the town so i could always go back and get it i didn't even think about what there are people like you i should have thought like me detectives store detectives you shouldn't think about me in fact it shouldn't even cross your mind even if you look for me you shouldn't be able to spot me i should be invisible in the background in my jeans and my jacket every day carrying a plastic bag or an umbrella like like any other customer you see it sounds doesn't it detective sounds so what that's what i do i look for clues i am a detective i'm good at my job i've been doing it for a lot of years i'm good at what i do delta 3 calling hq come in please delta 3 calling hq what is it delta 3 I I think I've got a sighting HQ. She's a woman and she's on the f- Confirm your location for me first, will you? Delta 3. I'm I'm on the escalator HQ. I'm I'm going up to the first. First? Roger. Your third floor Delta 3. What are you doing on the first? I was on ground HQ. I'm now on first. I'm covering Delta 1 and 2 as they're out on lunch. <laughs> of course they are. Of course. Of course they are. I followed her up from the ground. Do you want me to stay here at you? I suppose so, Delta 3. You're the only one I've got left. Um, where are you on the first? Uh, to the left of the escalator. I've got you, Delta 3. I can see you now. So, it's just you and me. Where is she then? Give me your location. Uh, I've I've lost her just for the moment, but but I still think she's on the first. Hmm. First floor is women's wear. Would you say she was a woman? How closely did you look, Delta Three? She's we- wearing a blue jacket, white jeans, and white trainers. She's about nineteen, twenty. <laughs> oh, the same year you were born, Delta Three. Um, blue jacket, white jeans. Back with you in a moment, Delta Three. Don't go anywhere. Over and out. The moment a person enters the store, they become a potential thief. For us, the supervisor is always stressing on that. He's upstairs, the security supervisor, at the top of the building, in a room where they've got all the screens, the security screens, and that enables him to see everything that's going on in any part of the store. I put the dresses back on the rail. I was ready to leave. There was another shop I had time to look into. I touched the dress again. I felt it. Today was Friday. 
then Saturday, then Saturday night. I didn't know where I was going yet, a, a club or, but it'd be somewhere. And I'd be excited and wanting to have a good time. I thought, I'm sick of wearing jeans all the time. People always see me in jeans. I want to be in something different. Nobody was around me. Nobody was near me. I looked up to see where the camera was on the ceiling and there was nothing there. The dress was dark green. There was so little of it. For 50 pounds. Blue jacket, Delta 3. There's a blue jacket, white jeans on your far left, 11 o'clock, far corner. Roger. Heading there now, HQ. She's just looking, Delta 3. She's not doing anything so far. I walked away and stood somewhere else. I pretended to look at another dress. I couldn't believe it. I... No, no, I could. I could. It was there. I could feel it in my jacket next to me. I, I had it there. I couldn't go back. That was the other thing. I knew I couldn't put it back. Because cause I'd done it so quickly and so so neatly. It, it felt awkward to to pull it back out, let it drop on the floor or whatever, leave it lying there on the floor of the shop in a heap. Come on, Delta 3, move it. She could have had half the shop by now if she wanted. Delta 3, was it Jack? She's moving, she's moving, Delta 3, she's moving. Stop right there. She's moving. She's coming right at you. That was you. You were ahead of me. Walking towards you. That was you in ladies' underwear. The only man there. Alone. I saw your face. Very quickly though. Not your eyes. You turned away. I was looking for black underwear. And I didn't... I didn't even think. I tried to look normal. There was nothing odd about me being there. No. No, I thought... What? That... You were a man, a poor man, on on his own there, a man who looked lost, embarrassed, who had come in wanting to buy underwear for a surprise for his, her birthday, his girlfriend, or just a surprise, because he loved her, his girlfriend, or his wife, his aunt who had been caught by another woman, nearly caught. Because you turned away. You turned your eyes away. Because men buy. Don't they? Buy women. They always buy women. Black underwear. Not white. Women buy white underwear for themselves. Men buy black or red or... Or they do buy white. Of course they do. The white suspenders, the white bras. But I could only think of black. The sexy stuff. That's what I thought. I walked past you, didn't I? I walked right past you. And I didn't suspect a thing. Delta 3. Roger, HQ. Beautiful, isn't it? That black underwear you're looking at. You should buy some for your wife. Where is she? <sighs> She's near the top of the escalator. She hasn't gone down yet. She was right on top of you. She saw me, did she? She didn't blink an eye, Delta 3. You're a magician. No, 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 better. You're an iguana, an iguana, Delta 3. 
You were incredible. <laughs> she thought you were buying a bloody surprise for your girlfriend or something. And so did I, Delta Three. So did I. I am glad we have got that on camera. I'll have to play that again for you, Delta Three, and the others. <laughs> Delta One and Two have got to see that. Um, was her jacket zipped up when she came in Delta Three? Do you know? Uh, I don't know. I I can't say. Or unzip. I can't remember it. You, I I didn't get a good enough look. Okay, Delta Three. Just wondering. The escalator was four or five steps away. It was right there, going down. I could feel the hum of it through the wooden floor. I only had to stand on it. If I stood on it, I couldn't go back. She's gone down, Delta Three. She's going down to ground. Roger, HQ. But no. No. You see, I can't decide. Can't decide what? Can you see her? Roger. Jesus, she stopped again. She stopped at the bottom. I can see her. Is she only shopping? Do we think? I'm not sure. I don't know. We'll have to see what she does. Careful now. Don't let her see you again. Not much of a looker, is she, Delta Three? Could you not have done better than her? Why are they never slender young beauties with long, long legs, huh? It was the doors. Why you stopped? Yes, they were. It was the glass. The sun was coming through. Shining through the glass. Your back was to me. I, I was behind you. I couldn't go through them. I walked past you. I couldn't look. Thumbs on the doors. They were too bright. I, I thought for I don't know why. I'd be caught in that brightness. I would be seen. There were umbrellas there near to me. I went to them. I had to look like I was leaving, in case she made a connection. I stopped at a perfume counter again. The woman behind it smiled at me, but but she knew she knew not to speak. They know when we are working, so I pointed at a bottle and she bought it out of the glass container and she pretended to show it to me. I had to wait. She could still come. She was behind me somewhere. People were outside. They were on the street outside. I, I could see them through the doors. The umbrellas were all colors. I tried to pick one I wanted. I had to get there. I, I wanted to get to those people walking past outside. But not through the doors. <laughs> Delta three, she's off again. Where? Uh, not to you. Uh, she's yes, side exit. Thought so. She's going for the side exit. Roger, HQ. But I'm not convinced, Delta three. You're not what? Convinced. She's taking too much time. Uh, to be honest, I think you should just drop her. HQ, she's been in the store for less than five minutes. I don't know. I want to go with her. Do you? I'm sure of her. You're sure of this one? Yes. Are you sure? Let me go with her, Ajay. I'm almost there. Now. She's at the side exit now. Um, I can see her. She's opening the door. Go on that Delta Three if you think you have to go. Go after her. Roger, Ajay. Maybe the fresh air will do you some good. Huh? 
nobody came to me nobody even looked at me there was one door and i pushed it open i pushed on the glass i held my breath and walked out there was nobody i knew there wouldn't be i knew i was out i looked back quickly for a second at the door behind me ready to run <laughs> or would i run cuz i didn't think i would run i mean where would i run to away it was warm outside i had my jacket on i think i wouldn't have run anywhere i wouldn't have got far even with my trainers on i went along the side of the store past the windows there and my reflection which i looked at but i saw nothing no sign of the dress i was so so happy suddenly i was outside it was like walking in a different world all of a sudden i came out of the pedestrian precinct and round to where the front doors were i looked in and they were all in there all the people who worked in the shop they were all still in there and none of them would ever find out what happened they'd never know what i did when we do stop them we ask them to come with us to the supervisor's office we take them up there and then the supervisor will phone the police from there they go with us usually without much trouble but sometimes yes they'll be at it and refuse to start shouting or screaming or resisting <laughs> thinking if they'll embarrass us we let them go but we always with help eventually get them up to the room and then we can search them We say we have reason to believe that they've stolen from the store, etc., etc. Will they submit to a search and so on? You were there all the time. I saw you sit on a bench. I didn't need to go into any other shops now. I didn't need anything else. I had what I wanted. You just sat there. The sun was so warm. I had some time left before I went back. I began to think that maybe I'd got it wrong. It made me laugh to just sit there so near to the store, to the doors I couldn't walk through. You closed your eyes. I wanted the sun on my face. I didn't want to go back to work. I wanted to be at home, in my room, putting the dress on. I closed my eyes. And you stood and watched me. HQ, this is Delta 3. HQ. Receiving you Delta 3. Here I am. I'm still with her HQ. She's sitting down. We're outside the store on the pedestrian precinct. She's sitting on one of the benches, the wooden bench that is I know on. the benches. But not directly outside. I sit on those benches from time to time. Uh, when I have the time, they're wooden. So she's there. She's there. What is she doing? She's sitting. That's all. Her whole life ahead of her, breathing in the air, all swell in the world. <laughs> oh, to be young again. Um. So yeah. Okay. Thank you. Keep me updated. Sometimes we're following them, and we're watching them. We can be with them for like fifteen, twenty minutes, and we start to wonder who they are, their names. We can't think like that too much because that's the first thing they'll try on with us. They'll try and find a weakness in us, and out come the sob stories. You know the tragic backgrounds, the dying mother, the junky boyfriends, the being treated for depression, or the period. I'm on my period. It can get pathetic, cause they'll be in tears or pleading with you. They'll be desperate. hanging on to you please mate please mister oh they'll 
they, they'll even offer you money, some of them. 10, 20, 30, 40 quid. They never have it on them. But they'll send it to you. They'll bring it to the store back tomorrow. Or sex. Women offering us sex to let them go. They'll shag you there and then. I'll give you a blowjob. These women, pregnant women. You can, you can, you can shag me. It's just because they'll do anything. Anything. Delta 3. Roger, HQ. Mm, yeah, I think, I think maybe you should come back in now, Delta 3. Back in? Uh, come back in, I think so. Hmm? What have you got? Nothing. She's a waste of time. I, I get the feeling she's a waste of our time. Give me another five minutes. Will you, HQ? Come on, five minutes? Uh, I'd prefer it if you just came back, Delta 3. No? Should I? I think you should. There's no shame in it. There'll be others, Delta 3. There will always be others. Five minutes isn't long, HQ. Is it? I'm here on my own, Delta 3. I have no one. Come back, Delta 3. No one will mention it again. I promise. Come back. We'll get you back on the third floor and it'll all be over. Delta 3, are you... Wait. What? She's moving. Is she? She's going. She's walking. Are you sure, Delta 3? Of course I'm sure. She's walking. I can see her. She's walking away. I have to go. Okay, okay, okay. On you go. She walked along the pedestrian precinct, along to where it ends and the road starts. She waited for the lights to change to red and then to the green man, and then crossed over to Albion Street and took the first left down Argyle Street. She didn't seem to be in any sort of a hurry. I think it was just wandering. I was on the other side of the street, keeping my distance. She kept on down to Argyle Street. There were cars parked on both sides of the street. <laughs> and she kept looking at the windows of them. <laughs> at herself. She fiddled with her hair, raising her hands. I still couldn't see anything. Then, then she stopped. She stopped and she moved into a doorway. She stood facing it, not going inside, not pressing any of the buzzers there. I knew, I knew something was going to happen. And it did. She stood there in the doorways, her back to the street, and unzipped the jacket. I want you to look at it again. She took something green out. Dark green. In daylight. The green of it. In natural light. A dress, a shirt, something. I didn't even know if I liked the green. She was staring at it. 54% acrylic, 46% cotton. I was walking to her. I thought... When will I wear it? And where? I'll never. I knew I'd never wear it. Not even to a wedding or a special occasion. Dark, is it? Bottle? Bottle green? It'll hang in my wardrobe and never be worn. Then she folded it. She folded it very carefully. She's 18 or 19, not 20. Some... Black color. Move near me. I was beside her. I got her elbow. Something... Something I recognized. I had her elbow. Tight. Oi! I'm Get a... off! What are you doing? I'm Get a... away from me! I remembered who you were. The man in the store who looked lost buying underwear for his... But you weren't... You weren't him. I didn't know who you were. You were somebody else. Listen to me, I'm a store detective, no. miss. 
Miss, please. I have to ask you to accompany me back to the store. Please. Miss, please. Strange language coming out of you. We're told at all times to be polite, to be formal. Let go. No. Let go. I'm not going to let go. I'll scream. Scream? You stole it. I never. I saw you. You weren't there. I was. I was watching you. You stole it. I saw you, darling. You had it in your jacket. I followed you all the way from the store. Now, you're coming back with me. You hear me? I've asked you, and you're coming back with me. Cause I don't want to get rough. All right. Still have the dress. He hadn't taken it off me. I don't know what I felt. I was scared. But I was glad it wasn't outside my work. Or inside. I would have died. We stood there. I didn't want to move. What had happened? I'll get you back. We'll speak to you. I don't know. Maybe we'll phone the police. No, don't phone the police. I, I meant to be back at work. I stop like I do. Should have thought about that before, then, shouldn't you? Exactly. me. That's not. Please, Mister. No, please. No. It's not my problem. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Who do you think I am? She kind of. I didn't see it coming. Just, just wrenched away from me. Away from my hand. I, I was holding her arm, but I didn't have a good enough grip. It was done in a second, like that. I didn't expect it. I didn't think she'd do something like that. She started running. The dress still in her hand. Out into the road, without even looking across the street. I liked your face, Jerry. I remember that. My face? I thought you had a nice face. What does that mean? When you were there in the doorway. But what do you mean, a nice face? Because it was. I, I thought it was. Not what I. What? Not what? Not what you expected. No, it was your eyes. It was your eyes, more than your face. I remember. They looked. I thought they looked kind. <laughs> My eyes looked kind. Don't laugh. Kind? I, I wasn't feeling kind. I was taking you back to call the police. I, I didn't feel kind. I don't know what you saw, and anyway, the eyes are. What? What are they? Eyes? Nothing. If you take them out, if you put them in a bowl, they're nothing. Bits of a body. I know. So, kind. What I what I mean is. What do you mean? Because, I believe the eyes are, are lit. By the person behind them. We never say that we know anyone until we've looked into their eyes. That is when we feel we have met them. We have an idea about them. But what we really do is look through their eyes. I think. Have you got children, Jerry? Children. Yeah, I've got a wife, and yes, we have children, two children, yes, two. And they know what you do. Of course, of course they do. You tell them. Yes. I pushed the dress back into my jacket. I didn't know where to go. He was behind me. I could hear him. His feet hitting the pavement. He'd catch me soon. I knew that. I kept waiting for him to shout, "Stop, thief!" But he never. 
people were looking at me anyways. They were standing, watching me run. Ugh, I hated it. Everyone I passed turned because they heard running. I don't even know if they knew what was going on. He still never shouted. I thought he would. I thought that's what they did. But he just came after me. If they start running, we'll chase them. It's one of the best parts of the job. The chase? What is it? The thrill of the chase? We are the hunters and they are the hunted. We're playing with them, really. There's a three. She had it, HQ. She's got something. I saw it. Delta 3. I saw it, HQ. I saw it with my own eyes. It was inside her jacket. Are you receiving me? I'm chasing her now, HQ. HQ, I'm chasing her. I hear you. You're uh, chasing her. I'm chasing her. Is she running? Yes, I can see her. I'm with her. Where are you? Uh, uh, the street may have a name, Delta 3. Delta 3, they do so that we know where we are, you know? Uh, I, I don't know this street. It's not a street I know. It's a side street. Which side street? It's a lane. It's a lane. It, it has no name. Where does it lead to, Delta 3? Can you tell me that? Where does it come out? She's heading south. South? Yes. She's heading south, then she'll be going across the river, Delta 3. The river, Delta 3, the river. The signals will go, the frequencies will weaken. They won't stand up that far out. I'm going to lose you, Delta 3, and you will end up losing me. You'll be out there all on your own. I want you back, Delta 3. I can get her. I can get her. It's for the best, believe me. I'm going to get her now. I'm so close. She's fading. You listening to me, Delta 3? Are you? Can you hear me? I said I want you back here. I need you here. Delta 1 and 2 are still on lunch. I want you back here. Say something. You're gonna get me angry now, Delta 3. There was a bridge. I saw a bridge and I ran over it. Because... I don't know. I thought it seemed a place he might not follow me. It seemed a place he might not want to go to. But he stayed with me, obviously. Two cars passed me. They drove near to me. There were more people who looked at me. A man and a woman. I saw the woman pointing and the man laugh. Over the bridge, I couldn't choose left or right, so I kept on the pavement. We never know where they're running to. We usually catch them before they get there. Some of them, I suppose, are running towards their home. If they have one, or an area or place, they know. Somewhere, they know. As long as it's a destination, it's a specific direction in which to run. Most of them, we find, run blind. Without thinking, no idea where they're going. They're panicking. They don't think straight. That's alright, love. You keep going. He shouted something at me. Didn't you? Yes. What was it? We always do it. I heard love. You call me love. That's all right, love. You keep going. I've got all day. I've got all the time in the world. I've got all the time in the world. It's something we always do. Why? I don't know, too. It scared me. Well, to scare you. Then it worked. It's meant to scare you. It's meant to unnerve you. I'm right here and I won't go away. I didn't understand you. 
It's plain English. We all shout. Where were you going? I don't know. You were just running. I, I couldn't think. You were catching up with me. I know. I knew you were. I was tired. I was sweating, and my jacket was too warm. She sat with her back against the wall. The bricks on it were newer than the rest of the street. She put her head on her arms. She waited for me to come to her. That was it. Just, just you stay there. You hear me? She nodded. Her face was red. I felt sick. I hadn't run so far in years. Jesus, I couldn't move. My legs hurt. I wanted to be sick. The sun was in my eyes. I'm, I'm warning you. I heard you. Don't try anything. He was standing ahead of me. He was sweating. I could see it. He was bent over a bit, holding his side, gulping air down. When they are finally caught, when we have cornered them somewhere, they are exhausted and can't go a step further. They always look the same. They look at you, and they are so, so pitiful. So many of them are so young. This person you were chasing, who was running because he thought he had a chance, is now like a, like a wounded animal. who wants to be put out of its misery. It's the end and they're defenseless. And there is a part of you that feels pity. You can't help it because, because there's nothing left for them. Nothing. And I mean, we are seeing people in one of the worst ways we can see them. Hope abandoned. Not caring now what happens to them. It's not something you want to see too often. Christ, you nearly killed me. You don't give up, do you? Right, come on, on your feet. Give me a minute. <coughs> Can you not just take it? Jesus. She held the dress out. Huh. I don't believe you. Please, mister. Doesn't work like that. Sorry, no. Please. Better save your breath for walking back. I'll give you money. You got money on you? Yeah. Should have bought that then, shouldn't you? That's what money's for. How much do you want? I don't want anything. I've got more money in my bank. I can get it out. You can have it. <laughs> you can say anything you want to me, love. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. It's too late. All that happens is I take you back with me. That's all. So come on. On your feet. I'm going to be sick. Be sick. Be sick. Then you get up. Nothing coming? What's your name? No, no. Well, you got any children? I won't tell you again. Stand up. I can't. My legs have gone. I can't walk. I'll just pull you up. Believe me, I'll pull you up. Don't you touch me. Stay away from me. Ah! Legs are fine. See? You're a dirty bastard. I know, I know. You're hurting me. You ready now? You don't have to hold me so tight. You stay beside me. You walk beside me. I'm not going to let you go. You do nothing. You try nothing. You hear me? Now give me that. I don't even want it. I threw the dress on the ground. What do you do that for? Huh? What's that for? Pick it up. No. Pick it up. I'm not going to pick it up. Delta 3. 
pick it up. Delta, you there? Is that your name, Delta Three? Shut up. You're not gonna answer him. Is that your boss? You should. Shut up. Be quiet. Pick it. Delta Three. Don't say a word. Stand there. HQ, this is uh, Delta Three. HQ. Delta Three. What is it, HQ? HQ, I have the girl. Repeat, Delta Three. I have the girl. You have her. Roger. With you. Right here with me, HQ. I'm bringing her back. Great news, Delta Three. Great, great news. I'm a happy man. Get her back soon. Now. What? I'm going to pick it up. What for? Delta Three. Such a stupid thing! Look at it, all this way for that. Look at it now, lying on the ground. What is it now? Why didn't you think? I don't care. I don't need it now, do I? I'm going to pick it up. I'm not letting you go. I'm going to bend down. Ah, that hurts. I wanted it to hurt. It was kind of a shiny fabric. I don't know what. There was nothing to it. It was so small. Right, we're off on our travels. You'll get the police, will you? Hmm. You'll get the police. Mm hmm. <sighs> this is your first time. Yes, it is. Would say that though, wouldn't you? I've never done this before in my life. You will get a caution probably then. What does that mean? We're taking off. They will say, "Don't you do it again?" I'm never going through this again. Do you like it? You're looking at it. Do you like it? Is this what they wear now? You were looking at the dress. Why? It was dark green. Bottle is it? Bottle green. Nice, isn't it? It had these thin, thin shoulder straps. So thin they look like shoelaces. How much were they wanting for this? Fifty. For this? Of course. You have to pay that to look good. It's for the weekend. It's a Saturday night dress. It was so small. In short, left nothing to the imagination. How old are you? What for? Just asking. Nineteen. Do you work? Uh huh. Where? Somewhere. A hospital. I'm a heart surgeon. I should be getting back. Glad you can still make jokes. It was my job now, anyway. What? What? What age? What? What age are you? You're old. A- am I? I think so. Depends how you see it, doesn't it? Because my father thinks I'm young. Do you like young girls? Do you? Huh? Is nineteen young enough? Shut up. Because I could put the I I said shut up the dress on for you. We could find somewhere quiet. You could walk. Watch me undress. No. I put it on. Walk. I said. No. You don't want that? Cause you can touch me. Shut your mouth, will you? Sorry, I thought that's what you wanted. I've had enough of you. Do you want to kiss me? No, no, I I don't want to kiss you. Can I kiss you? No, no, you can't. Just a wee one. Don't do this. Come on. Listen to yourself. You should get a. Can you hear yourself? A reward. For catching me. Don't, don't. Just a peck. No. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you little bitch! Shit! She got away from me. She spat at me. They'll stop at nothing. I've been spat at, scratched, kicked, punched, headbutted, everything. I've been called every name under the sun. 
They've threatened me. They've promised they'll kill me. They've told they'll come and kill my wife and children. They're animals. Most of them. Wild animals. Do you know why? I knew. Knew what? You knew what? I knew what you were going to do. What? I saw it. In your eyes. I told you, you didn't... Because you were holding the dress. Yes. And you wanted to let me go, weren't you? You were going to take your hand away and let me go. I saw it in your eyes. I could see it in your face. You saw nothing in my face. That's what you were about to say. There was nothing in my eyes. Because looking at the no, dress... my eyes. The I dress told you. I what do you think I am? With the thin, thin shoulder straps like shoelaces. The 50 quid dress and how little there was of it. I know because I saw. It was the desperation. My desperation. Wanting that dress because of what it promised. The dress I'd never wear. Where would I wear a dress like that? That was it, Jerry, wasn't it? That's what happened. I saw it in your face. In your eyes. The wounded animal put out of its misery. You bitch! That was it, Jerry. Wasn't it? No. Of course it was. I had the dress. I know. So why did I chase you? Because, because why? What else could you do, Jerry? What else could you do? You had no choice. Then I tripped. I fell. I hit the pavement. I put my hands out to break the fall, but my knees hit first. I seemed to slide on the concrete. I felt gravel on my face and palms, biting into them. Oh. She stopped. I heard her stop. You were still holding the dress. You are right? Mister? You are right? Mister? You were standing above me. Your eyes were closed. I could feel the sun on my face, burning the sweat. My face was stinging. Mister? I tried to grab her ankle. I thought I'll grab onto her ankle. I'll hold onto her ankle. I put my hand out, but it went so slow. She would have seen it. it moved so slowly in the heat. She stepped back. She saw my hand come out. The dress was pulled out of my hand. I felt the material sliding under my hand. I had to get up. I had to get back up on my feet. She was walking away from me. Delta 3, this is HQ. Delta 3, Delta 1 and 2 are back from their lunch. They're with me now. They're standing here with me now, wondering where you are. We are all waiting to hear from you. He was on his feet again. Unsteady. I shouted at you. I heard you. Stupid. Come back. Come back? You? Why did I shout that? She started running again. Delta 3? Is that you I can hear? Panting like an old dog? Is that you wheezing like an old woman? Huh. I shouldn't have let you go, should I? I shouldn't have let you out that door. I should have kept you on the third floor exactly where you belong. 
the last thing she did she turned and she shouted at me she shouted something back at me it made me laugh you call me love <laughs> just like you i'm the same as you jerry now i'm the same as you what do you mean do you see what you've done jerry do you see what you've done what do you mean where do i go now i have no one left i have no home i have no family i have nothing i'm left with nothing i have nowhere to run to then she ran she ran across the road and shouted come on love keep up i've got all day i've got all day. Jesus. Get get an ambulance. Quick. Get an ambulance. Adelphi Street. This is Adelphi Street. Near the bridge. Oh Jesus. Where am I? It's all right. I uh, I've got you. It's all right. Where? It's okay. You're okay. You're okay, darling. Delta 3, come in please. What is it? You fell. You, you fell down. You're okay. You're okay. What's your name, darling? What's your name? Tell me your name. My name is Jerry. I'm Jerry. I've got you. You're okay. I'm holding on to you. You'll be all right. You'll be all right, darling. You'll be all right. She was wearing a blue jacket. She was nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Above that. Twenty twenty one. Blue jacket and white jeans and white trainers. Her hair was up. She tied it up like a lot of them. Tied up. Tied back. And there was blood. There was blood in her hair. a lot of blood the blood was coming out of her head somewhere it was in her mouth her face was white she couldn't speak she was she was shivering i held her i stayed beside her i wiped the blood away from her eyes All the stories have been told of kings in days of old, but there's no. Ink-